Welcome to another episode of the Levity Flowcast. Today we sit down with Dave and Troy to look back at some of their favorite moments. So let's sit back, relax, and flowcast. Man, as we sit here, we were talking about all the guests we've had on. There's some that really have, uh, you know, kind of percolated to the top that we could look back on. And we were talking off camera a little bit. I think the first one we got to bring up is Zach Rudder. Yeah, I'm real excited for him. Um, we were actually just chopping it up for like over an hour yesterday. And uh, I think the thing, I, um, one, I'm proud of him, all the work that he's put in and like all the work he's doing and just mm. love that's coming his way. But it's really exciting to see that his, it's been like a year in the making because of COVID. He's finally going to Ghana in November. Three murals in 10 days. I think that's really going to elevate his career. So he's doing it with an organization called Hope for Ghana. And so schools were just built in Ghana for the children and the community. And so he's painting the school walls. <laughs> right? Like how, how could you not be enthralled like, listen no shit i almost wore a zach rudder shirt tonight that would have been perfect i know yeah he's i mean he's such good energy that's somebody that honestly i think we could have back in after his trip to ghana to talk about that Definitely. experience um but just even fatherhood and just what it's been like over a year yeah um yeah super good dude there was another one another person yeah uh i, th- I was thinking ivan because mm-hmm. i know him and I, you know, did some stuff in the like a few months ago, and similar thing is coming up. Uh, we back in February, we went to mm-hmm. Florida, and um, he entered an empanada co- contest out there. That's the whole reason that we took the trip out there. I was helping him sell, and I like documented the whole thing for him. And man, he won, <laughs> fucking won! Like <laughs> never, me empanada does not exist yet in Florida. That was crazy, you know. Got we got we stayed extra days because we got <laughs> catering orders and i was like <laughs> i hadn't been away in a while so i'm like fuck it, fuck it let's just stay i'll yeah. film it too yeah. i hope you cook yeah and uh it's crazy and now what's awesome is coming up in october the same people that did that festival are doing one in new york and we're going so hopefully we take home two trophies i as we sit here and talk we we're talking about good good humans and people that do the right thing and kind of give back and someone just percolated and it's nate pantalone he was our second guest on here crazy yeah and one of the coolest kindest most humble humans you could ever meet i want to share the story about when things were just reopened Mm -hmm. right around covid not any no one knows this and it's not something that was broadcast out but i think it's a story worth telling and if people can hear it i think it's even more reason to go to dober tea and get the best tea in pittsburgh but um nate's always done things by the rules yes um for right or wrong um always by the rules and by the book and uh when the restrictions for covid were starting to be lifted and that they could finally open up to a hundred percent um, he found out a couple, and this is, this guy has struggled through, uh, the tea room. Oh yeah. You, I mean, every business did, but extremely tough. No one wants to go drink tea when they have to wear a mask. Oh. So he was finally able to open to full capacity and be able to offer food, amazing baklava, all the goods. Like he found out one of his people tested positive for COVID and he closed for 10 days. He didn't have to do that. No, he did not. He could have just kept going and no one would have known. No, not a damn soul would have known, but he didn't. He closed his business just when he was regetting momentum. And that was for me, one of those defining moments in somebody's character. When you can see through both masks and see who that person is through their decisions and actions. And that's when I was like, God damn, like, what a good person. He did yeah. the right thing. He protected the people around him. He protected his employees. He protected his family and kids. And he did something that I sure as shit know that he did not want to do. Like, he, they were, he's still paying rent. Yeah, no, he's a, he's a stand-up guy. Uh, yeah. You know, I've spent a lot of time there. Like, I know most of his staff. And, like, a lot of his staff has been with him for years. And uh, you know, as a business owner, to maintain people that work for you you know that says a lot about you because Mm. you ultimately are the team leader and you know he's always looking out for his people 
I mean, to be honest, I feel like that's uh, that's the thing with everyone we've mentioned. They just started. I mean, from just talking with Zach yesterday, like he was going to go the safe route and be an architect. But then he just went to art school and just started. Nate also was going to college for engineering, chemical. Like he, he's a smart man. And then he's just like, nah, these tea leaves are speaking to me. And I think a lot of people just walk past that door because it's yeah. scary to see what's on the other side. When you don't know what's on the other side of that door, that's when you talk. That's when that, uh, that voice that starts. Voice. And it's like, no, don't do it. Take the safe route. Be an architect, Zach. You can just collect two checks every month and you know what you'll make every year and you know, you'll know you have benefits and do that. And what the world would have missed if Zach Rudder took the safe route. Well said. That feeling you get when you see his artwork on whether it's those flower pots or his murals or up on everything bagel every person has the same hundreds every day yeah that's like just the reality of hundreds of people every day spread love army spread love army i just i just think it's one of those things where Man, if I could encourage anybody that's in in the mix or in the middle of the storm and they see something that they just think is like, man, it's just a little too scary, I would encourage you to run towards that. If it's something that other people are doing, I mean, for us, even a podcast, (laughs) right? Like, Yeah, I never thought I'd be interviewing people. Right. Um, Run towards it. Run towards it and work it out. And... I think it's one of the most rewarding things ever. I think if you would ask any of the people that we talked about, I think Pants would be a destroyed human if he was working somewhere as a chemical engineer and not having his hands in his tea leaves. Yeah, I I mean, again, I think any of these people would be just not who they're meant to be, who they are now and who they're becoming. They would just, (laughs) for lack of better words, they'd be dull. They'd be bored. And I mean, I feel that that's the same with you. I feel like if you stayed in the school system, you'd be bored. I don't think you'd be as bright as you are right now. And I read that I didn't know you before. I can 100% say I would be a pissed off person if I wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> Man, you wouldn't want to talk to me. Well, that's that's just it. And if, if it happens within you and if it happens within me and... Our man Jamin has shared his story of, you know, just having that moment. Every that resonates with people, and I think it's so important to talk about it and to conceptualize it because it can go. It's so fleeting that those. I think it was Steven Spielberg that said that your dreams don't shout at you; they whisper. Ooh, that's yeah, that's it, very true. And you have to be clear-headed, and you have to be able to receive them and set the table for those types of thoughts. I want to relax, relax, put my mind at ease Good friends and good vibes, now that's all I need When life hurts, come down and flow to levity Let your problems wash away into serenity, whoa